Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to be doing a little post-op update. I recently posted my surgery vlogs, um, which took me several weeks to get up, um, but they're up now, and so I wanted to give you guys a little update about a month post-op. Um, so I had surgery to place a port, a GJ tube, and I had a hip arthrogram, but that was like not that big a deal. Um, that was just like a little add-on. Um, so I'll start with the hip. Basically, I'm still in the same place. Um, we're waiting to get my MRI to see exactly what needs to be done inside of my hip joint um, and exactly what's going on there. Um, I had an injection into my hip of lidocaine because I'm having like some pretty bad pain um, and pinching and we needed to figure out if it's inside the joint or outside the joint. So since I was already asleep, they injected some numbing agents into my hip joint um, and then when I woke up if I moved it and I was still in pain that means that it was soft tissue outside of the joint and if I wasn't in any pain that means that it was inside the joint um, and I was not in any pain when I woke up so that tells us that the issue is inside of my joint and after um, some evaluations and stuff like that we believe it's most likely my labrum but obviously we have to do the MRI to figure all that out um, but I dislocate that hip three to four times every single day, so it wouldn't be surprising if I, I've done some damage to it. Um, but that's kind of where we are with my hip, so we're still waiting on what we're going to do with that. Um, and then, now I'll talk about the port. So I love my port so much. It's so much better than my pick line. Um, that is healing great. I really haven't had many issues with it other than it can be a little tricky to access it's a bit tippy just because of where they put it um, so I've had quite a few people miss the port or hit the edge and stuff like that um, but other than that it's been working great I really haven't had any problems um, I'm currently accessed as you can see um, I'm accessed from Tuesday to Friday and then deaccess the rest of the week so that's healing great my so my scars and everything are doing really well. I tend to have a problem healing and the port actually healed really well so we're very pleased. Now the GJ tube. So <laughs> um, the GJ tube, the only word that I can use to describe it is it sucks. <laughs> it really it really is kind of sucks. Um, it's not it's not fun. I currently have a relatively large tube um, and it's really heavy because they modified a peg tube and they added um, an extra tube threaded through it to make it a peg J tube which means I can be fed into my intestines rather than my stomach because I have gastroparesis so my stomach doesn't digest food. So I have to be fed into my intestines so they modified a tube and it's very heavy. So <clears throat> that's what this is what the tube looks like. I have gauze around it right now but I have it taped up and I have a tube clip helping but they ended up modifying a peg tube so I have this nice popsicle stick with tape on it and this is actually an NG tube that they threaded through one of the ports on the G tube so it's like two ports right here and one of them I have an extension on because that's my G port and I use that to like put meds in or drain or whatever and then this is my J tube portion but I have to have an extension on this one too I'm always hooked up to feeds then I have this contraption here with an extension so I end up having this big long tube that's constantly hanging um, and it's quite uncomfortable <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm talking about when I say I have a long heavy tube and I have very delicate tissue due to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and so the weight of this tube I've tried taping it up um, I now use tape and uh, tube clips to hold it up and that seems to be helping a little bit better um, but I've had a lot of issues with granulation tissue and since I got the infection in the beginning that set me back and overall just it's kind of been a little problematic, but I am healing now, um, but I'm a month post-op now, and I'm finally starting to feel okay. 
um, but I spent several weeks in a lot of pain when I shouldn't have, or so I was told. Um, all of my surgeons told me that it would be super easy, I'd recover in a few days. Um, that's not the case, and from a lot of people that I've heard of, that isn't the case. Um, but yeah, so recovering from the GJ tube is really difficult. I'll put it that way. <laughs> but I am finally starting to heal from that, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's kind of a general overview of what I'm like a month post-op. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you ever have any more video suggestions, comment them down below, and I will try to make those for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!